Welcome everyone. In this video we are going to look at the very simple power supply. So that very simple power supply will be this circuit here. So as you can see the biggest part in this uh, circuit is the heatsink and I will explain you why you need this huge heatsink. But the soul of this circuit is this chip here which is an LM317T uh, volt voltage regulator chip. So this chip needs a few resistors, capacitors, maybe a potentiometer, and it works very nicely. If you look at the datasheet of this chip, uh, it has a lot of, uh, let's say, default circuits, uh, which you can use for different purposes. But what happens here is that you give a certain input voltage and uh, you adjust the uh, output with the adjust pin of this uh, chip and you get some uh, output voltage and uh, of course there will be a difference between the input and the output voltage and that difference will be basically dissipated from this chip uh, as heat. So then because of that you will need some cooling and I use a very simple cooling here because I will not use this as the main part of the circuit but as you can see this part there are two other transistors so here I use a PNP transistor. This is a 2N2905 uh, PNP transistor, which is being switched uh, by the input uh, pin of this uh, voltage regulator. And then uh, this uh, PNP uh, transistor switches an NPN transistor, which is a power transistor attached to this huge heatsink. And this is a TIP, TIP. Uh, 35C uh, transistor. So what happens is the load will go through this. So we will switch our required load with this uh, transistor. But uh, in order to be able to regulate the output current or voltage or whatever, the output power, then uh, we will use the voltage regulator circuit. So this is basically the circuit which can be found in the data sheet of the LM317T. Uh, voltage regulator. So I just replicated that circuit and uh, put it on a breadboard. As you can see uh, it's a very ugly soldering. So here where we have the main load or we can expect higher uh, currents I used a bit thicker uh, wires or thicker soldering but uh, this is just the prototype so I will just use this as a proof of concept so it doesn't need to be very uh, solid. But uh, I want to show you that this works. So that's why I have these uh, devices here uh, because we will use a load, again a Peltier cooler, uh, 6 amper load to see if we can run it at uh, 6 amps and then we will use different uh, multimeters to follow the voltage and current in different branches of the uh, circuit. So what I will do now, uh, I will put together a basic circuit with these components and I will show you uh, what you can expect from this uh, power supply. And why I built this power supply uh, is because I wanted to have a very simple circuit to control Peltier coolers. And uh, this will be like the first step towards understanding how this works. So I'm also learning uh, by building this circuit, but I want to share you my experiences. So what I have to tell you that, uh, as I mentioned, we dissipate a lot of heat here because this is a so-called linear power supply, uh, this kind of uh, circuit. So it's very inefficient. So if you want to go for efficiency, then of course you have to use the uh, switching uh, power supply, which uh, requires high frequency switching and so on. These are the regular power supplies that you can find in your computer and the other consumer electronics uh, and they have much better uh, efficiency but this doesn't have too much uh, basically that's why we need huge heatsink as well because a lot of heat is being uh, or a lot of power is being converted into heat so there are a lot of losses that's what I try to say uh, but at this moment I'm not uh, focusing on efficiency but I'm just looking for different kind of concepts and I want to learn these things. So I want to show you that this can work and uh, we can discuss these things. So I uh, assemble the circuit.
So I assembled the circuit, but we will only use two multimeters and I will tell you what is what. So first of all, this is the positive rail uh, of the input. So it goes in into the circuit. And then we also have the negative rail uh, here which has the black line here. And that also connected somewhere else, which I will tell you. And uh, this is the output. So what we do is first we power uh, the power supply here with another power supply if it makes any sense and uh, then the output goes on this red line and then it goes into this uh, multimeter which will be used as a current meter so then goes in and then uh, the comb uh, so let's say the negative side comes out and that's where I attached this guy here to measure the voltage but also uh, as we have to connect the current meter in series with the load, then uh, another wire goes to the load, which is a six ampere uh, Peltier cooler. So then wire goes in and then the black or negative comes out and goes to the negative side here, as well as it goes to the negative side of the voltmeter. So we measure the voltage parallel. So basically this is the, the wall circuit. So what I will do now, I, I can uh, read the voltage and current from my power supply. So I set it to 20 volts and 1 amps and then I just turn on this thing and we see what happens. So now as you can see, uh, we have 0 0.25 amps and uh, basically 1 volt. And if I turn the potentiometer, then that should go up. So now of course, uh, we reached the limit, so I limited the input uh, to 1 amps and that is uh, 3.8 volts. But this depends on the, on the load as well. So now I increase the input current which comes here on this wire. So we should see uh, some increase here and there. So now let's go to 1.5. So still the same current flows here, so 1.5 amps and uh, 5.6 uh, volts. However, the input voltage is 11.4 uh, volts. And now this is maxed out. But now if I turn uh, this potentiometer down, then it should change the output. And as you can see, I can set it very nicely. So nothing is hot. Now you can see we are at 1.5 amps and uh, 5.7 watts. So let's increase uh, the current to 2 amps. So now we are at 2 amps with the power supply and then 2 amps is going through the load as well. Uh, but the voltage instead of the power supplies 14.3 uh, it's basically the half of it, so 7.4, it's a bit more than half. And if I touch these things, they are still room temperature or close to room temperature. But the capacitors and also the resistors are nice and cold. And also the Peltier cooler is very cold. And the hot side is getting a bit warmer, but uh, this passive cooling is enough for 2 amps. I increase the current to 3 amps. So now we are at 3 amps. And the input voltage is 20 volts. So the input voltage 20 volts, the output is almost 11 volts. We have uh, roughly 3 amps. Nothing is warm still. And this is very, very cold. And now this is getting hot. Of course, uh, we are cooling a lot with this Peltier cooler now. But now I can uh, decrease the current. You can see. And it works very nicely and uh, reacts uh, very nicely. 
So I turned off everything and uh, now I just want to uh, tell a few sentences about this circuit. So this was just a proof of concept and you could see that this circuit works very nicely and uh, nothing gets warm so I can hold this uh, in my hand. I can touch everything because nothing was or nothing is uh, hot but uh, you have to respect the fact that a lot of heat is being dissipated uh, from the power transistor so it needs a big uh, heat sink as well as you need thicker uh, connections uh, for those parts uh, where you where you are planning to carry a lot of current otherwise you will get a lot of heating so in principle you just uh, want to decrease the resistance of those traces where a lot of current is uh, being carried through so then that's why i have these ugly solders but uh, yeah this was not heating up at all so i think this was fine and uh, this proof of concept was working well uh, i just noticed one problem and maybe it's just the value of this uh, potentiometer or the quality I don't know yet uh, but this 5 kilo ohm potentiometer was not working very nicely so the voltage reached the maximum quite uh, early and I could turn this like a lot and nothing was changing in the output voltage so I might review this part and uh, change the values or something like that but uh, as an initial uh, test. I think this is more than better for me. So this was it and uh, we could uh, control the Peltier coolers very easily with this. Uh, there was no heating of cables or connections or components so that's very nice. Basically this is all. So I hope you like this video. Uh, I will put my uh, drawings and schematics on my website so don't forget to visit curiousscientist.tech I also put the link in the description and I will keep improving this circuit because I want to do some fancy stuff uh, with this kind of uh, power supply let's say and I will check some other things what other uh, built and I will try to improve this so I hope that you learned something. I hope you found this uh, interesting and I hope you found this uh, useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, please. That helps me a lot. And see you in the next video.